Hey guys, I'm Dustin. I have nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry. And today I'm gonna to show you the best e-bike if you have arthritis or have had any kind of surgery like hip or knee surgery. So stick around. All right, so today I'm gonna to show you the best electric bike if you've had any kind of surgery like hip or knee surgery or if you are dealing with arthritis and it's affected your joint movement i'm going to show you the e-bike for you but before i do hit subscribe below stay in touch with us here at 630 be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out new products and of course the giveaways we do for bikes e-bikes and accessories all right at 630, we've been in business now 18 years, and we've done a lot of test rides. We've got a lot of videos on our YouTube channel. I've done different riders of all ages, um, all body types, all physical capabilities, and I've learned a lot about mobility and issues and the kind of products people need if you're dealing with arthritis or had hip surgery, knee surgery, things like that. So. If you're looking for an e-bike and you maybe have some limited mobility in your ankle or your knee or your hip um, and you have restrictions with not being able to get your leg up, this is, a, this is an issue I see it actually very frequently. Um, and we've done a lot of rides with riders over the age of 60. And I will say, once you get to be over you know, 60 years old, I think there's just an innate decreased level of mobility that starts to happen with the natural occurrence of arthritis in most people as we age. You know, starting at the age of 35 and up, um, <clears throat> our joints just don't move like they used to. And it becomes important that when you have an e-bike, especially because you wanna be safe on an e-bike, you can mount and dismount very simply. So this is our simple step through electric e-bike. And I believe the best electric bike out there if you've got some sort of arthritis issue, whether that be in your hip, your knees, or your ankles, or you've had surgery in your knee, hip, somewhere where you have that restricted mobility, especially in your lower half, but also in your upper body as well, and I'm gonna show you why. Now, you're gonna see a lot of e-bikes on the market, in particular, different wheel sizes, 16 inch, 20 inch, but what I've noticed is they don't all have extremely low step over heights. The benefit of the simple step through, I can just put my tape measure here. This is a 10 and a half inch step over height. In addition to that, I have the seat all the way down and the seat in its lowest position is 32 inches. So the benefit of this is the simple mounting and dismounting and getting your leg through. If you can just put your leg over this much and slide your foot through, all of a sudden you can mount and then from that position, you can just slide back onto the seat and you're ready to go. And really getting off, plant your feet, slide forward, and you can bring your foot forward. What I've noticed is even by raising this up another two inches, it starts to affect a large percentage of riders. The difference between 10 and a half inches and 12 and a half inches is actually a really big deal. You know, and a lot of people like to do the leg swing over and again, now you're talking about getting your leg up, you know, a good 30 inches or somewhere around there, 20, you know, yeah, about 30 inches or so. So you don't wanna to have to deal with that. Um, so this makes it very, very easy. Even if you have that restricted movement in your hip or something like that, there's another strategy here. Because of the low seat, you can also hold the brakes like this and sit. And then from there, your leg is gonna naturally elevate, right? Because you're getting on the seat and from there, you can just twist on. And so if you didn't have this space here to do that little twist, you couldn't, you couldn't do the maneuver I just showed you, right? So let's just show, let me show you again. As an example, you can just get, you could get your, well, in this case, you could basically just, you know, pull your leg through. So let me go ahead and tighten the seat here a little bit. I haven't, I lowered the seat, but I didn't tighten the uh, quick release. So I'm moving around a little bit, no big deal. Okay, okay, okay. So let me show you that again. You just sit here and now you've kind of got your leg naturally propped up. You can just bring it right through and you're forward. And again, it's one of those things <clears throat> I've, 
I've done a lot of test ride. I've seen a lot of mounting and dismounting, which is why I wanted to develop this sort of uh, step through for those that may have those, that restriction in knees or hips or other things. What I'm going to show you here too is on a traditional bike or e-bike, this crank will usually be the lowest point. What we've actually done here is we've dipped the frame below that point, and so you've created a lower step through than the crank by about four and a half inches. You're not gonna see that on any other e-bike out there, a bike for that matter. This is a unique design, and there's really gonna be some level or limit to how low you can take the frame, and we believe that this is about as low as it can go. Um, now, you could do scooters and things like that can be all the way on the ground, of course, but um, even in 20 inch e-bikes that I've looked like, 16 inch e-bikes, this is the lowest step through that I could personally find. The other thing too is, you don't want the seat to be too low because now you're gonna deal with the, uh, the idea of getting on and off that seat, right? It's like a couch, you don't wanna sink into a couch. So you might find a seat possibly, I mean, I, I can't imagine it'd be too much lower than this because now you're starting to get down to have to like squat down to the seat. In this case, it's really gonna be right there and then you can slide over, like I said. So it's also gonna be good for shorter riders as well. If you're, four, you're five foot, five one, five two, it's gonna make mounting and dismounting very easy. Okay, now if you've had any kind of shoulder or wrist or arthritis up there, I'm gonna show you why this is so good as well, because it's gonna put you in an ergonomic riding position. So you're gonna have your back upright, your arms relaxed, so you're not gonna have any tension in the low back. You're also not gonna have any tension in the arms. They're gonna be extended nicely, your elbows will be relaxed, and you're not gonna feel that extreme soreness where if you were leaning forward and having to grip real tight and put any kind of um, tension on your muscles while you ride. Now again, if you want that, you can always opt for that. But in this situation, we're trying to create um, something that'll be easy on your arthritis. So you have something in your wrists, you can see it's a relaxed wrist position. Um, just, just a design, overall ergonomic design so you can ride further and be more comfortable. Now, the other thing I'll, I'll mention is also just the electronics. This is a 500 watt e-bike. It's gonna be more than enough power to get you up hills if you're about up to 250 pounds. You've got the five level of pedal assist. So you're gonna be able to hit top speeds of 28 miles an hour and uh, in pedal assist and 20 miles an hour using full throttle. And you've got a 10.4 amp hour battery. That's gonna be good for about up to 50 miles. Now. When we talk about range, there's a lot of variables like the rider weight, uh, the terrain. Also, are you using a lot of pedal assist or are you using a lot of throttle? All of those factors are going to play into the type of range that you're getting. So keep that in mind. Um, but I would say anywhere from 30 to 50 miles. So electronically, this is going to be a great performing bike. If you're dealing with arthritis or head surgery, it's going to get you where you need to go. Um, and if you're not, also I've seen before, if the arthritis affects your ability to turn the pedals, the beauty also is you have a throttle here. So you can use that throttle to help you get going. Um, like if you're stopped and you can't pedal, uh, get the momentum to get yourself moving, the beauty is use the throttle, get the bike rolling, then start to move the pedals. I've seen that also countless times as well, where that throttle can really be such a big help. Uh, like I said, you're at, a, you're at a stop sign or you're just getting going and once you get moving, you're fine, but breaking through that first initial thrust can be a little bit difficult. Use the throttle, get the pedals moving and boom, you're off and running. Then you could slide into a, new, a nice pedal assist level like two or three, hit the straightaways and now you're working your hips, you're working your knees, you're getting the movement that you need in your body and you're not letting the arthritis or the surgeries restrict you in any way. So this is a simple step through electric bike, what I really believe to be the best e-bike out there for anyone dealing with arthritis or surgery recovery, anything of that nature. If you have any other questions about this or anything else, please comment below or email us the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. And if you're in the market for an e-bike, you can check out this one on our website, 630.com. And if you don't know what e-bike you're looking for, take our proprietary body fit quiz. Just answer a few questions about your body in your life and we'll recommend the perfect e-bike for you in addition to that we have a 30-day test ride your bike policy if you don't love it in 30 days send it back no questions asked no money out of your pocket and lastly be a part of our community our facebook peddlers group and download our app great place to go in advance of purchasing 
because you can talk to other riders, ask them questions, get their opinion on their bike and how they like it. And on the app, you can actually see miles people are logging in real time on this, this bike or other bikes. In addition to that, after you own your bike, great place to join or be a part of those group, make friends, post photos of your bikes, and just have a lot of fun. So thank you for sticking around, and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.